Yeah, you can tell you still love her when you just talked about her. Of course, she's wonderful. You know, somebody's the, the mother of your kids. They're going to be the most important central person in your life, and that's good. Despite being married for a decade, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner's marriage came to an end. Could it be about the other Jennifer and Ben's romantic life or a whole lot bigger? That's what we're going to find out today. Before there was Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner, there was Benifer, which was a ship name for Ben and his other Jennifer, the American singer, actress, dancer, and producer Jennifer Lopez. When Ben and J-Lo announced their relationship in 2002, fans went wild. But how did the famous J-Lo and Batman get together? In December 2001, J-Lo and Ben met in the romantic comedy, Giggly, where they portray the lives of criminals that were stuck on a job together and became close friends. In April 2002, fans were speculating about their so-called friendship when Ben praised J.Lo saying, It has been nothing but an honor and a pleasure to work with you. I only wish I were lucky enough to be in all of your movies. Signed, with love, respect, and gratitude, Ben Affleck. At the time, J.Lo was married to American actor and choreographer Chris Judd. In July of the same year, 2002, J.Lo and Chris filed for divorce. Jennifer Lopez and Chris Judd have announced they have resolved all issues arising out of their marriage. The resolution was extremely amicable. The two will remain friends. The couple's attorney explained. The next month, Ben and J-Lo were captured by the paparazzi sharing a passionate kiss, obviously indicating the singer has moved on. In November, still in the same year, the couple engaged after Ben proposed to her with a customized 6.1 carat diamond ring by Harry Winston. In September, days before getting married, they made an announcement of canceling it and made a statement due to the excessive media attention surrounding our wedding, we have decided to postpone the date. When we found ourselves seriously contemplating hiring three separate decoy brides at three different locations, we realized that something was awry. We began to feel that the spirit of what should have been the happiest day of our lives could be compromised. We felt what should have been a joyful and sacred day could be spoiled for us, our families, and our friends. A source told CNN that the couple was taking a break. In January 2004, unfortunately, they called off their engagement and their entire relationship quits. So many must have been devastated. In June of the same year, J-Lo married her singer friend, Mark Anthony, and had twins, a daughter and a son with him. A year later, the same month, Ben married the actress Jennifer Garner in a private ceremony. Here comes the other Jennifer. In July 2011, J-Lo and Mark announced their split and filed for divorce in 2012. What's shocking is that, four years later, in the same month J-Lo and Mark split, Ben and Jen announced their split which is finalized in 2018. In March 2019, J-Lo got engaged to her two-year boyfriend, former baseball player Alex Rodriguez, but announced in April 2021 that they cut out their engagement, in which, days later, Ben was photographed in J-Lo's house. Now that the original Benifer is back together, fans are happy. Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Ben Affleck and J-Lo were spotted together today in Miami. Benifer is back, a fan tweeted. The same fan tweeted, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck cozied up to each other in LA. It seems that this person is really an avid Benifer fan. Them and them only, hashtag Benifer, another fan tweeted. After seeing a picture of Ben and Jen cuddling in the streets of Los Angeles, a fan tweeted, I am crying. About five months ago, some photos broke the internet, and now, just look at them. They're adorable. I love them SM. Hashtag Benifer. Another Benifer fan tweeted, Seeing Benifer that way would make their fans swoon, with one tweeting, His hugs are her safe place. Hashtag Benifer. Aside from the superstar J.Lo herself, we all know there is another Jennifer aside from J.Lo, and it's none other than the mother of Ben's three precious kids, the American actress Jennifer Garner. While the relationship was also known as Benifer, the sequel at the World Series. In the summer of the year 2000, Ben and Jen met at the set of the famous movie Pearl Harbor. 
During this period of time, Jen was married to actor Scott Foley. Two years later, at the same time of the year, summer, they reunited for the movie Daredevil, which Ben explains later where he first fell in love with Jen. During this time, both Jen and Ben were with their respective partners, Scott and J-Lo. In an interview with Playboy later, Ben explained, We met on Pearl Harbor, which people hate but we fell in love in on Daredevil. By the way, she won most of the fights in the movie, which was a pretty good predictor of what would happen down the road. My wife holding swords and beating the living ass out of me. In the same year, later in the fall, Ben and J-Lo got engaged. Although Jen was still married to Scott and Ben was engaged with J-Lo, netizens noticed something suspicious about their friendship and some said they were noticing a spark. At one moment in the episode, Jen gives Ben such a genuine look of gratitude and affection, it still makes me a bit uncomfortable to see it on television. One writer for Vulture said, In March, a few months after the episode for Dinner for Five aired, Jen and her husband Scott announced their split. Scott had explained to the TV guy that nobody else was involved. Jennifer became a huge celebrity, she became a huge star, and she deserved everything she got. There was no other relationship, there was no infidelity, nothing. People get divorced, you know? He explained. In May, they filed for divorce and made their split official. Jen later on talked about it in an interview with Allure in 2013 saying, We didn't have a shot. He's a really good guy and we just imploded. In January of the next year, J-Lo and Ben called off their engagement. A few years later, in an interview with Vanity Fair, J-Lo shared her thoughts about the same time when they canceled their wedding. I was eviscerated. I lost my sense of self, questioned if I belonged in this business, thought maybe I did suck at everything, she said. On October 23, 2004, Ben and Jennifer made their first public appearance as a couple. The following month, Jen visited Ben on the set of his new movie, Man About Town. And on April 17, 2005, the couple got engaged after Ben proposed to her on her 33rd birthday. On June 29 of the same year, they got married in a private ceremony which was a four-person ceremony which was officiated by Ben's alias co-star, Victor Garber, and the only guests were Victor and his husband. It was an incredible honor and one of the most special events in my life. I will never forget it. It's embedded in my heart. Victor later told Entertainment Weekly, In a span of seven years, Jen gave birth to their three children, Violet, Serafina Rose, and Samuel. In January 2013, Ben won a Golden Globe Award for Best Director for his movie, Argo, and thanked Jen, saying, I adore you, I love you, you're my everything. Ben and Jen's family of five looked so perfect. Where did it go wrong? On June 27, 2015, Ben reportedly took out their family's nanny, Christine Ozonian, in Las Vegas, but the representative had denied that the two were romantically involved. Days after the reports and rumors about the nanny got out to the public, Jen and Ben filed for divorce which was finalized in 2018. They released a statement to People magazine which read, After much thought and careful consideration, we have made the difficult decision to divorce. We go forward with love and friendship for one another and a commitment to co-parenting our children whose privacy we ask to be respected during this difficult time. This will be our only comment on this private family matter. Thank you for understanding. During their divorce, many people were in mixed emotions. In one tweet of MSN South Africa, it read, Ben Affleck says his divorce from Jennifer Garner and other life experience shaped him into a better actor. In 2021, Ben got back with his ex-fiancé, Jennifer Lopez, and is living happily. Some may say J-Lo is better or Jennifer Garner is better for Ben Affleck, but that's one thing only Ben will ever know. What do you guys think? Could Garner not be the Jen for Ben? Let us know down below. See you in the next one!